Hi everyone, my name is Sabina and today I will be talking about Montsori Louis Vuitton backpacks. So if, if you're interested to hear more, please continue watching and I will highly, highly appreciate support with your likes. So guys, let's begin. Don't be fooled, this is not an unboxing video, this is a true review of the uh, Montsori Louis Vuitton backpack. By the way, apologies if I don't pronounce it correct, my French pronunciation is pretty bad. So let me know if you know the right pronunciation and transcription of the word Montsori. Um, so as I mentioned, uh, this is not an unboxing video. I own this item for full nine months. I purchased it uh, around Christmas time, sometime December 2020. And I own it for nine months and I've been wearing it a lot. I put it in the original uh, packaging just to showcase it for whoever is not original with Louis Vuitton uh, packaging and also to show you how it would come if you purchase the item. So this is pretty standard uh, Louis Vuitton uh, box. I think all their bags and uh, small leather goods and pretty much everything comes in the carton box. I don't think there is anything special. Maybe for some very limited lines, the box is uh, in different colorway, but otherwise this is it. Pretty big, it's on magnets, so definitely very, very luxurious box i mean however the box can be luxurious and then there is the backpack inside also packaged in the uh, louis vuitton uh, dust bag so let's get it out of the dust bag here is my pretty backpack let me get this out of the way so guys, as you can see, my uh, Montsori Louis Vuitton backpack is in black umbrant leather. It also comes in two more colors, in umbra leather, which is dune and um, it's kind of beige off white. I'm not sure of the official name. I'll pop up pictures on the screen so you can have a look. And the backpack also comes uh, in two variations of uh, monogram. And I think the only difference is the straps and the uh, uh, flap. And then the whole body of the backpack is um, in the monogram canvas. So here it is. First thing I would like to mention, if you're looking for a backpack to use uh, for work, this is not the backpack i mean obviously it's suitable for work but not in terms of bringing your laptop with you because if you look at the dimensions i think it's something by like 27 centimeters by 33 which would uh, by the sounds of it fit in a 13 inch laptop but this backpack does not uh, mainly because of this um, of its um, uh, sack uh, shape so the backpack uh, has this uh, flap with a magnetic uh, buckle. So this buckle is uh, fake. It uh, closes with a magnet and I'll talk about it later. And then there is a drawstring. So basically out of the rectangular shape that ideally would feature a 13 inch laptop, it creates yeah, a sack shape out of the backpack and then the laptop doesn't fit in which i will also show so that's the first thing i would like to really put out there but otherwise this backpack is quite um, spacious and can carry more than your uh, necessities for sure just not a laptop if that's what uh, you're looking for so uh, let's go back to the backpack itself, not only its purpose. Uh, the whole body of the backpack uh, is in umprunt leather. So um, Louis Vuitton um, branding is kind of embossed in the leather. And then the flap is just uh, this pebbled leather, no branding on there. Uh, the handle is smooth leather, two straps, adjustable straps is also smooth leather and uh, yeah, a small uh, branding here uh, of Louis Vuitton also 
part of the buckle uh, is a smooth leather. As I already mentioned, the um, buckle is uh, fake. <laughs> it's a magnetic buckle, which uh, can has uh, can have it pros and cons. So. Uh, the good thing about it is that it's very easy to enter the back, you know, you don't have to uh, open up the back, um, buckle and it's very easy uh, to enter and close and the magnet is actually really good. So I personally prefer this, but if you're very cautious about the safety of your items or maybe you live uh, not in a very safe city and take a lot of public transport, yeah, that can be an issue for you, uh, but it definitely saves up the time because I've tried one um, Gucci uh, backpack that had a well proper um, buckle, you know, that you can that you really have to unbuckle it like your belt. Oh my god! Like I just tried it in the shop and I was already annoyed. So definitely not for me. Uh, but if this is your preference to have a real buckle, uh, yeah, you need to then probably look for another item. Uh, but another thing why I think the magnetic buckle in this case is just fine is also because it's not just this buckle, but there is also a drawstring and, you know, it, uh, closes up, um, quite narrowly. So, yeah, I think it's still pretty difficult to get in and smuggle anything out of your backpack. Um, then what else do we have here? We have a um, Louis Vuitton charm that uh, you can detach and uh, maybe also replace it because there is a kind of a well, hook, let's say, for anything else you'd like to put on or to put, not put anything because it's also hidden when the uh, backpack is closed. So it doesn't, you know, hang there like without any purpose if you don't have anything attached there. And when I just purchased this item, I thought I will uh, remove this uh, charm, but you know, I quite like it. And maybe also because, uh, you know, backpack is obviously on your back, so you don't always look at it, uh, you know, constantly. It's not in front of your eyes that much. It also is not, yeah, catching my attention too much. So I think it hangs there just fine. Then in front we have this zipper pocket, um, which I will show later what can fit in. And one thing that, uh, well, I really loved about this backpack when choosing out of a few was this zipper pocket. I mean, yeah, how great it is. <laughs> like, just to get your, I don't know, travel card, your keys, or maybe your um, card holder. It's not gonna fit in your phone, maybe newer iPhones, you know, the 12 and already 13 mini, I wouldn't be sure, but I have iPhone 11 and it is just a little bit too big for this uh, pocket. But otherwise, this is an absolute great thing to have because um, there was another, uh, I think, Lock Me backpack, which I'm not sure if it's out of the range already. And this Lock Me backpack is an, well, is and was probably already absolute classic, uh, very good look, very discreet look. But um, one thing that really uh, brought me to this back over Lock Me is uh, this zipper pocket in front. Then, uh, if we turn back, we have these two adjustable straps. Each strap is about one and a half centimeters wide, which is just, just enough for a backpack of this style. Like I mentioned, you know, you cannot fit your laptop in. You're probably not going to be carrying a lot of heavy items in this backpack. So this strap is just ideal for this backpack in my mind. One thing I have to say is that the strap is quite long. And there are, well, what is it, five levels. And um, why, when I was making a picture uh, of myself that I will pop on the screen with this backpack on just to show you how low it might sit, uh, I had uh, it, uh, I had the strap on the, not the last one, but one before last. And I realized, yeah, that's 
quite low so after i took the pictures and looked at myself from the side i uh, actually uh, put my uh, strap on the lowest uh, or then actually shortest uh, possible step for the strap um, I'm 1 meter 64 centimeters, so yeah, this backpack is sitting quite low for me, but again, you know, this is not your school bag, this is not a heavy duty backpack, so I think it's intended to be like a bit of a relaxed lower um, fit backpack. Maybe um, because you can completely kind of uh, remove uh, the uh, strap from the lower um, hook, Maybe there is a way to play around with the straps, but honestly, I wouldn't know. This is just how I wear it and don't make it difficult for me. Uh, another thing here is this handle, which is actually really handy because sometimes, like I mentioned, if maybe you're at a place that you're not very um, confident about your safety, like public transport or you know, you even want to pay, you know, uh, at the store and you need to take out the wallet. I really like put it like this on the, uh, on my arm or just, you know, carry it in my hand. It's actually a very comfortable uh, thing to have. Then if we open up, it is just basically one big black hole. I don't have an organizer. Uh, the interior is from a beautiful lush um, microfiber uh, fabric that I really prefer over many other fabrics out there. Uh, I tried the one Gucci um, backpack like I already mentioned with a real uh, buckle and that one had like a linen interior and it just didn't feel very nice to be honest on the touch so this uh microfiber uh lining is absolutely absolutely beautiful and then uh inside we have one uh open um uh, pocket i will uh, show it closer as well um which is good enough you know for your card holder maybe your phone and like smaller things that you don't want to like look around in your bag and always want to have a uh, quick access to and i uh, generally use it for my uh card holder and maybe a, a lip balm so this is a little bit about the interior and exterior of the backpack um i like I mentioned, I have this uh, backpack for full nine months. I absolutely love, love this item. I couldn't be happier about it. Uh, I love the uh, umprint leather. So what I think umprint leather is good for, you know, it's the best of the two worlds. It's durable and soft, you know. For example, Safiano leather is uh, also considered to be very durable, but yeah, sometimes it can be a bit plasticky to the touch, you know, even uh, from uh, luxury brands like Prada that use Safiano leather often in their uh, merchandise. I, I don't know, Umbrant leather is absolutely one love. Very durable and very soft and smooshy and just absolutely gorgeous to look at and to touch and I love it. I love it. I think you already got it that I love it. Uh, yeah, the leather is actually cow leather. That's what it says on the website, if that's relevant for anybody. The hardware here is gold, but it's a very minimal ha hardware to, to show. Uh, I think most hardware is actually hidden under the flap, uh, and it is for the drawstring. And uh, I love uh, golden hardware. This is like really kind of, I would say, golden, golden hardware, but because it's so minimal, it doesn't look flashy at all. Um, plus, uh, uh, this umprint leather, even though it's embossed, you know, with the uh, Louis Vuitton uh, branding, because it's like black on black and it's embossment, it's not really flashy either, you know, like. Yeah, I think it's still very minimalistic, even though there is Louis Vuitton all over it. Um, so, what about wear and tear? Already mentioned, uh, umprint leather, super durable. 
uh, if you watch my uh, other videos, for example, on uh, Fancy Boston bag, I mentioned that uh, I'm not maybe super careful night like i'm not babysitting my bags you know the bag is there whatever the price is there to wear it and use it and not be stressed over the wear and tear i'm not saying you know you have to like throw two thousand euro bag uh, all over the place but you know i don't want to be stressing much stressing too much about it um so what i've noticed i've scratched my handle and again it's not a problem of the item or the uh, quality of the item this is me just doing something um, uh, to this backpack and not being careful about it maybe in the public transport because that's what i take i uh, don't own the car so i take public transport and I think this is where you can get things going wrong often. That's one. I think I might have something um, on the flap, like a little tiny scratch, but you can only see it under certain angle and light and all of that combined together. So again, nothing too serious. And then I have a little bit of the scratch and wear and tear showing, on, especially on one of the corners the most and the rest are okay but again maybe it's actually a good time to take it to the um, shoemaker so they they can polish it cover it or whatever so it doesn't get any worse but i think for whatever it's been through so far it's doing seriously really really good and handles there is uh, sorry straps there is nothing really on the straps. One thing I'd like to mention, I think maybe a first month when I got it, there was something like peeling off the straps, like a bit of a like rubbery bits peeling off, um, which got me worried a little bit in the beginning, but I literally don't see anything like wrong with it. So I have no idea what it was. Maybe it was some kind of, yeah, I don't know what it was, but it was peeling off um, maybe for a few weeks, bit by bit. Uh, but today I, I, I don't see any damage uh, that it brought or that the quality got worse or whatsoever. So I don't know if you know what it is. It may be happening to other Louis Vuitton backpacks or bags in general. Yeah, please let me know. I have no clue. So. Overall, I am over the moon with this backpack. I will show also what fits, as we already figure out the laptop doesn't fit, and I will show you what you can do. I don't have any tablet or iPad uh, for you to uh, maybe recommend or advise what could fit. Uh, and I don't want to, you know, make up things. One thing I would definitely like, would like to mention, if, for example, you own a tablet or an iPad, and when you compare the size of your uh, gadget uh, to the backpack, just always, always think, keep in mind that it's drawstring. So it's not, you know, let's say if it's 27 centimeters in the bottom, it's not going to be 20 centimeters um, on the top. Uh, did I say 20? I think 27 or so. Um, so somewhere halfway, it's it's getting smaller. So that's something to keep in mind. So let me grab a few items to show you what can fit. So I didn't get like all the items I carry, you know, I'm not gonna mention my phone, my cosmetic pouch which is like nothing spectacular just small cosmetic pouch it all obviously can fit i just wanted to take um, bigger or smaller items to also showcase you what can fit in the front zipper pocket but let's start with the laptop since i put such an emphasis on it so this is my uh, macbook pro 13 inch and it can fit but the drawstring doesn't do anything so this is it that's what i'm saying that you know it is maybe fitting um in the bottom but then the drawstring um basically kind of deforms the rectangular uh, shape of the backpack 
and if we put it uh, vertically well it doesn't even fit because it's um the the laptop is too high so yeah that's the thing with it so again if uh, you own an ipad and you might need to carry it sometimes just keep that in mind the uh, the kind of sh drawstring uh changing the shape of the backpack then umbrella which is 27 centimeters long so you can also imagine a water bottle is about the same length and size so that can fit easily this is it here just to show you yeah no i mean no problem maybe you need to put it a bit uh sideways a bit di diagonal or maybe it can stand like this um in the backpack but no problem at all i would say for sure you can even have uh, a water bottle and um, an umbrella inside along with obviously all your other essentials then um let's let's keep to the inside for now then what i mentioned about the uh, pocket in the back here i usually keep my um a card holder inside i have a burberry card holder and it's inside i will also make a, a closer a shot for you but it's still a lot of space there like i usually have then also lipstick and maybe also I squeeze in my phone um yeah it's it's a great pocket for like things that you really want to get quickly to also sometimes uh if i'm if i need to be really quick uh what i do i just open the uh flap and put my slide my hand into the backpack without opening the drawstring and just take out the so that's also what i do then let's get to the um zipper pocket in front i have my louis vuitton key pouch that i also have a review on well it's not a really a review it's unboxing video uh, my short review today after having it for several months love this thing no no guarantee no i love it i love it so if you're interested to hear uh, more about it please uh, find that video on my uh, channel thank you guys so um keep pouch <laughs> into the front pocket here it is no problem like there is a really substantial place actually so uh, now i'm thinking if you have um iphone mini it will definitely uh, fit in in this uh back uh, in this pocket sorry uh so yeah so key pouch fits in um let's maybe put key pouch card holder just to see how it goes um yeah it fits in it's maybe a bit of a tighter fit but it definitely can fit in uh, my um, card holder is a bit to the thicker side maybe as well and um main thing here is that the uh, key pouch is even like really shorter so there is still for example space a good like non stretch space for your uh airpods so i have airpods pro which is a bit of a bigger case so we can fit those just next to each other and it's a, it's a good fit in the end you know if it's not necessary you shouldn't also stretch your backs whatever it is like obviously if you're uh, running out to the grocery store after work and you buy a few items and your backpack gets a bit full that's fine but i would suggest if you really need to carry many items just get a bigger bag don't stretch and deform your items and uh, also what i like about this backpack that it, the soft shape allows it and to be not full and look good and be full and still look good you know what i mean um some backpacks are from let's say also safiana leather and then it's more uh shape holding and then if the backpack is well let's say quite empty and you just carry a few items it still will the backpack will still look big it doesn't matter because it has its own kind of a harder shape and this backpack you know it's really adjusting if you don't have many items it will look smaller 
and not just look weird in my opinion because i always think it's a bit weird looking if i know that there are very few items but the bag or anything still looks large and then one small thing which is not really probably related to this backpack at all but something i'm happy about so um there is this drawstring right and then obviously it's also inside the string goes you know inside outside inside outside like a snake and i have this um case for my airpods pro with um with a hook and i attached it to this uh, string inside my backpack and then i can easily um, hook it up here and then <laughs> my airpods are just hanging there inside which I found so great. <laughs> um, and one thing I would like to mention is that, and you will also see it in the picture, I'll put it back on again, that the backpack can be deforming a little bit here. You can also see it here, especially maybe it's, if it's not very full. Um, it looks deforming, but I don't think it does anything bad to the leather and I know you can always buy an organizer for it um, also to avoid your backpack looking like a big black hole inside um, so yeah, if that is something that bothers you, yeah, please go for an organizer um, again, I'm fine with it <laughs> so doesn't, like, I, don't, I just, I see the, the changes shapes, shape, but I don't see anything uh, crucial or bad happening to the leather for now at least so let's see how it goes so guys thank you so much for watching i hope you find this video useful if you have any other questions on wear and tear and just owning this backpack maybe you want to hear more what i like or don't like please uh, leave me a comment and i will make sure to respond to you thank you and bye have a good day